Imagine, if you will, an ordinary person going about their ordinary life, never knowing the evil that watches them, biding its time. What could sway a being of darkness from its course? In tonight's story, we'll learn if it can be done, or if there's just another victim on this spooky night. I'm hungry. Very annoyingly hungry. I can't imagine I'll find anything worthwhile tonight. Pickings have been slim lately. I wonder if some sort of warning went out to keep the prey out of my path. That would figure. I should probably go home. Wait. What is that? A human. Alone. Now that is something special. Maybe it's my lucky night after all. That's right, human. Keep walking. Walk along through the dark without a care in the world. Go wherever it is you think you can go. I'm not even here. You can't hear me, but maybe you can sense me. I bet you can. A little whisper of fear, perhaps? The hairs on the back of your neck standing on end? Mmm, I'm hungrier than usual tonight. I wonder how long I can play with this one before I give in. Probably not too long. But I do enjoy the hunt. I like the tension. I like making them wonder if they heard something or saw something. Maybe out of the corner of their eye. I get so much joy out of seeing my prey get progressively more unsettled. And they never even know why. Until the end, at least. Until the last thing they see. This form is so convenient. I can move so much faster this way. No human can outrun me. Not like this. Not on a night like tonight. With this moon and these stars, I'm in my element. And you, my meaty little darling, are on the menu. I wonder where this one is going. It's not like it matters. Who goes for a walk at night alone in the woods? Not very bright of you. A flashlight, and that seems to be about it. No weapons that I can see. I don't get it. I thought humans had more of a self-preservation instinct. I thought they knew how to stay alive. They've made it this far. They've driven my kind into the shadows. This must not be one of the more successful specimens. This one is probably destined to be my meal. Not that destiny is a thing, but it's nice to think about. Hmm... This is convenient. You're going toward my lair. It's like getting takeout. My meal is coming home with me. I could not have planned this better. Keep walking, human. Take yourself all the way into the deepest, darkest recesses of the woods. That's where I thrive. In this form or any other. You can definitely sense me. I see the nervousness in how you move. What is it you're doing here? Looking for mushrooms, perhaps? Or one of those herbs that only grows at night? What are they called? I can never remember. Maybe you're just restless and you wanted to take a walk. You don't seem to have any particular direction in mind. Even as hungry as I am, this is delightful fun. I could stalk you all night long. Oh, careful. Don't fall. Don't make this too easy for me. I want it to last a little longer. I want to smell the adrenaline building. My lair is so close. Maybe my dinner will stumble right up to it. And then I can take my time stripping the flesh from the bones 
and eating the soft, sweet insides. This should hold me over for quite a long while. I'm glad I don't have to be in my human form to eat. These teeth are so much better for it. Wait, something is wrong. You can sense it too, can't you, human? Even your weak senses can pick up something isn't right. Something else is stalking prey tonight. What is that? It's... No. No, not that. Cougar. The pups. No, 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 no. Wait! Human! You... You scared away the cougar. My pups. Shh, you're okay. Mama's here. Thank you. Don't panic. I can talk because I'm not what I seem. Just... Is this form better? Do I look more approachable now? Skinwalker is accurate enough. But my pups, the cougar, you saved them, thank you. You don't need to worry, not tonight. I was, yes. I stalked you all the way here. You look like you'd make a good meal. No, wait. I have to know. Why did you do it? Why did you put yourself between a cougar and my pups? You could have been hurt. Or worse. That's a strange instinct. Especially after you wandered this far out here alone. I thought you had no instincts at all. Why are you out here? Herbs, that figures. You didn't take remotely enough precautions to protect yourself. But... You seem to have an instinct for kindness. Good or bad, it saved my pups today, so... I won't eat you. No, but you should go home before I change my mind. I'm very hungry. Human, this kindness won't be forgotten. But if you come back here, or if you bring others... I may have to see what sort of meal you'd make after all. Go. Go straight back the way you came. Try to stay out of trouble along the way. Pay attention to the sounds around you. And to the tickle of warning that goes up your spine. If your gut tells you something is following you, maybe listen to it. I doubt your kindness will save you again. The saying goes, kill them with kindness, but in this case, kindness saved a life. Could more lives be saved through kindness? Go check what that sound is in the other room and maybe you can find out for yourself. Good night. <laughs>